Next question over here. Hello, I'm Anna Sofia Bagirayev, and I have kind of a follow up on the biology question from before. It is one thing to say, obviously, it's not going to be a safe experience to go to Mars, but there are some technologies essential, especially if we're looking to putting humans there permanently, um, that are going to be have that are going to have to be developed with biological capabilities. Speaking of like flight suits, habitats, um, eventual artificial biospheres for people to live in. Do you see your company playing a part in the development of those technologies? Do you see biology having a place in SpaceX's work, or will that be outsourced to other unrelated companies? And before you answer, you should know that Anna Sophia over here won uh, a Jeans in Space competition and flew on a SpaceX Dragon. Anna Sophia, was that, uh, was that SpaceX uh, 10? When was that? Eight. SpaceX 8. So, um, as a, uh, yes. Yeah, oh. And uh, a very smart uh, young lady. I think, in fact, I think she's smarter than me in high school than, uh, than, than I am now. So uh, anyway, so good luck with your answer. Sure. <laughs> uh, uh, biology obviously has a significant role to play in any kind of uh, permanent Mars base or city. Um, I mean, for, for SpaceX, you know, we, we're, we're trying to make sure we can get people there reliably at a, at a cost they can afford. Um, and get cargo there at, at, a, at, a, at, a, at the right cost number, you know, because there's, there's, there's kind of a threshold cost per ticket or cost per ton to the surface of Mars, um, below which uh, a self-sustaining city can develop and above which it cannot. Um, that, that sort of critical um, sort of economic and te technical threshold is, um, is, is, what we're, is what we're focused on at SpaceX. Um, I think we'll probably also have to do a fair bit of work on propellant depot, uh, basically a propellant plant on Mars. Um, but then our, t our intent is to, uh, uh, you know, we, we don't want to get in the way of, of what others are doing. Like, we want to make sure that, uh, let's say if somebody makes an investment and wants to do something on Mars, create a, you know, a business or do some scientific endeavor, that SpaceX does not compete with them, you know, because they need to feel like, okay, they're, we're not going to just go in and compete with them arbitrarily. Um, we, we want to make sure that they, they, they feel it's going to be a fruitful environment uh, to be, the, you know, to go there and and and, uh, and, and, and do something special. Um, so our focus is going to be on transport, kind of fundamental utilities, survivability, um, and, and you know, we'll, and we'll do more if we need to do more. Uh, but um, but we want to make sure. That, that lots of people can go and do all sorts of things on Mars or the Moon, um, and not feel like SpaceX is going to do anything but try to help them. Uh, we don't want, we don't want to interfere or compete. Um, it, you know, they're they going to feel like the opportunity is there.